All right, so I'm gonna show you how to solve a common problem in Godot that I had, and it was this. Uh, I had a bunch of NPCs that I wanted to make, or enemies or whatever, and I don't wanna to have to make, you know, uh, a skeleton and add animations to it every time. So I want one skeleton that works with all of my models. So one way I can do that is I have this skeleton here, and that is directly imported from this Blender file here, and I made this guy with Make Human. So what I'm going to do is make another make human model and then attach it to that skeleton in Blender and then show you how to bring it into Godot. So you could then just use that same skeleton and have a different uh, mesh attached to it. So we'll open up um, make human. Uh, we have to have one that's roughly about the same size. Uh, so it'll look good for that skeleton. So I'm going to open up my old model, which is called beefy Pete but then we're going to change them up. So we can't really change the proportions, otherwise it'll look off with the skeleton, but we can change a lot of this stuff. Uh, let me get um, all the clothes off him because we really don't need any clothes for this. Uh, what I am going to change is the, let's change the materials. We'll make him uh, this weird tune shader uh, and then we'll also um, make the eyes. Uh, what do we want to do here? Give him a tongue. Um, hair, we'll give him long hair like that. So uh, we're going to have that. Uh, this is going to be another model. And we're going to go to export. And we'll call this one um, negative. And you know what we'll actually do? We'll go to models and we're gonna go to muscle. And we're gonna take all his all his muscle away and all of his weight. He's gonna be skinny Pete. That's what we'll call him. Yeah, we're gonna call him uh, skinny Pete. Skinny Pete, all right. So we're going to export that in a film box and it's going right to my desktop. Hopefully, yes, all right. So then we go back to Blender and we're going to take this model uh we're going to go to pose mode a and i already have a rest animation here uh, but if you don't know how to do that you just press alt r and alt g and that returns all the bones to their rest location then you make a keyframe but anyway now that we have him in that uh configuration if we go file import and we import our FBX of uh, skinny Pete right here so we import that model so what I'm gonna do is hide all of my human meshes sorry I had them separated out so now we have skinny Pete right here with his hair um, what we're gonna do is uh, I don't care about the hair right now. We're just going to grab Skinny Pete and then we're going to grab the armature and go Control P and we're going to say, uh, uh, yeah, with automatic weights. And since the models are so close together, they should be pretty close. So what I'm going to do now is go to File, Export, um, FBX. No, I'm going to go to GLTF and then I have a Godot project already open that I showed you earlier. I just gotta find it. Uh, state machine, character with armor. We're going to go new, older, skinny Pete. All right, so now we're going to just call this skinny Pete. Skinny Pete, all right, there we go. Include everything, because uh, we can just pull from what we want. So now that we have that done, it's still loading. We'll go back here. We'll go into Godot. If it will pop up. Okay, there we go. All right, so now that we're back in Godot, I'm going to click on the skeleton of Beefy Pete who we have here. We're going to say merge from scene, and then we're going to say, up. Oh, Wrong one. Uh, we're gonna go skinny Pete. We have to go to all files. Uh, we're gonna grab skinny Pete.glb. Say open. 
and what we want to do is grab this mesh that is skinny Pete down here so we'll press OK so as you can see we have skinny Pete showing up already and if we start hiding our original character model lo and behold there's skinny Pete so uh, yeah that is a way that you can have one skeleton and have multiple meshes on it all you really have to do is make sure that they're all synced with the same skeleton in blender and then uh, export them and then when you bring them back into Godot just say you know um, merge from scene grab your GLB and then just grab the mesh that you want and bring that one in so that's the best way I found to do it this was a problem that really perfect uh, perplexed me for a long time so I hope this helps someone all right thanks for uh, watching the video if this helped you out please throw a uh, like my way that really helps out my channel all right thanks oh also if you want to see um, uh, a Morrowind clone that I'm making with Godot please be sure to check out the other videos on my channel I think it's gonna be pretty uh, pretty fucking cool series so have a good one